What is going on you beautiful people? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel and also welcome back to another league game. Yes, we're at home and it's probably one of the windiest games we've ever actually had at home. Like my hat's probably gonna come off. We're going up against a team called May and Baker. We have not played them yet, but I tell you what, today is gonna be a game for a number of reasons. And here is the league table right now. So we know that this game today is going to be huge. I'm ready for it, you should be ready for it. So actually, before we get started with today, there is a little announcement that you guys might be familiar with. Hey, or not. no, 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 come no. And explain. This is, this come is on. me. Okay. I'm telling okay. you now, okay. yeah? Talk to me. Brand new channel. That's right. What? Hashtag United Esports. You've yeah? heard that correctly. Gaming Huge. videos coming at you left, right, and center. We've also got a Twitch channel as well. So follow us. Subscribe to Click us. Click the eye button. Check I'm the link in the description now, as well. You don't want to miss out. There is so much in it for you guys. We're talking giveaways. We're talking... Whatever, you're gonna see FIFA videos, you're gonna see Fortnite, you're gonna see Call of Duty, you're gonna Rocket see everything. League. I'm gonna be there. You guys can play with us as well. This is a new way for hashtag, yeah? So make sure you get involved, subscribe, follow, and trust me, you're not gonna be disappointed. You heard him. My hat has gone away. This is how windy it is. Look, this is a joke. How am I supposed to get my stuff that, you know what? The comments always talk about my hair anyway, but look. And then if I face the other way, Wow. I know who that guy is. Come and have a talk to me, Mr. Player of the Month. How's it feel? Oh, it's amazing to get the support from everyone. What can I say? And obviously you've gone from left back to centre mid, scoring goals. Yeah, there is just no stopping you. My, my personal favourite of you is when you go and run, you just stiff arm people. Oh, yeah, I love it. It's, it's unbelievable. Good. More of that it's today. my main game, but yeah, like you said, going from left back, played centre back, centre mid. Yeah. Basically like the non-league James Milner. Oh no! One week we will get it. You know what? Should we keep it all one take and see if I can do it? Yeah. Go on. Just keep it. Keep it rolling. Chuck our cross one in. It's my time. I don't get much out. Come on, LP. Come on. Listen. Time, but that's what I do. I need more time. <laughs> Jeez, LP. Just a couple of changes today. From last week, um, we've got Harry Honesty back. He's going to come back in uh, as his peds. I think we get started 11. We had against White Enzyme last time we were here. Um, Lee, Hersey, and um, Kane just unfortunate, really. Um, it's tough when you've got to make all the, the good tough decisions for me to make. We've actually got James Mountford coaching the lads and we've also got Marcus Stamp in goal and Sam Adams in goal, probably their preferred position. And we've also got some tech ball here which we will be holding a competition later and whoever wins that will be playing Robbie Savage. Today, I'm going to say it again and I will keep saying, today is only a big game if we don't win. It only becomes a big game if we don't do our job. We've done our job well enough in the last few weeks right, to give me every confidence going into this game. Every confidence going into every game we play between now and the end of the season. They've had a little bit of change. It hasn't really affected their results. So all it's done is they've still got a nucleus of a squad, probably the younger players. And speaking to the fella that's kind of running them since the manager's gone, he said they're now playing without any kind of pressure because all of a sudden people are writing them off and you can't write them off. Look at their position in the league. You can't write them off. Look at the, the games they've got in hand. They're more in control of, 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 the, of their destiny than we are ours, that's for sure. The conditions are horrific in terms of the wind. I think they'll come with a little bit of freedom and they'll have a go at us. We good to go? Yeah. Yeah. We're ready to do a job. Come on, Everyone come together, let's go, come on. Right, back up in the commentary with myself, Seb, joined by Mr. Theo Baker, currently still nursing an injury at you, Theo? Um, Many injuries. I mean, technically I'm not injured at the moment, but in the process of like getting back fit. And speaking of being fit, I'm doing fitness February, so at the end of the month I'm going to be ready and fighting. Well, that is good news. The boys are going to need to be ready and good, ready to go, because today is an absolutely massive game. It's a game they've been waiting for for a long, long time. Don't just look at the league table to think about how important this game is. Man Baker currently 
15 points behind Hashtag United, but they have seven games in hand. Seven? Seven games in hand, which means oh, if they word. won all of those, they would actually go clear at the top of the table by six well, points. Well, Seb, we got to make sure we beat them so they don't do that. Absolutely, Theo, absolutely. May and Theo Baker are not going to win this game. See what I did there? May and this is going to be a long afternoon. I've got a feeling for it. Anyway, let's jump into the team news today. So in goal today for the home side, Jamie Jacko Jackson. Left back, Tom Willow Williams. Right back, Simon Petty. Centre back partnership of Farias Ngarno and Jack Harrison. In front of them, holding the anchor positions in midfield, Ricky Evans. And the man who's been an absolute revelation since he joined Ricky further up the pitch in centre midfield, Mr. Ross Gleed. Out on the left hand side, we've got Triple H, Harry Honesty. Ryan Adams on the right, Albie playing in behind, Neil Richo Richmond up front. Richo looking for his 18th goal of the season this this uh, yeah, today. He is hashtag United's top goal scorer. Theo, what are you making of the sides? I'm excited to see Rossi Boy in the middle of the park. I haven't seen him. In, I haven't seen him in live in the middle of the park yet. So I'm excited to see. I mean, he, he, he's been an outstanding player in the last last month or so in the middle of the park. So I'm just excited to see him. Hopefully, bag a goal today. Right here we go. Moments quick, away quick from start kickoff. Important for the boys here. Test time for another chip. And we are underway. Ricky Evans kicks it back to Ross Gleed. Who Look at pumps that it up forward to Ryan Adams, who wins a header. And that is actually going to be a free kick to Hashtag United. Number 14 there for Mayan Baker. He's conceded that. It's Richard Oxby. Did you see the win just then? The ball goes up and it just came back. We're going to have Tom Willow Williams is going to swing this one in. He's got the wind against him. He's got his right hand in the air as he whips it in towards the back post. Tell you what, it's a good delivery. Out. Nicely done, Harry. As Harry honestly, left foot bender. Oh I actually think that's quite close, you know. I actually that generally think that's close. That looks fairly close from here. Good start from Hashtag. So, they're a slightly depleted, depleted squad. I'm sure they've made some reinforcements. As Ricky Evans plays a little one-two with Simon Petty. Loops the ball in towards oh, the back stick. Oh. Just over the top of Harry honesty. We need to capitalise. Hashtag all too many times this season have failed to capitalise on periods of dominance. Lots of chances. Although I will say in recent weeks our conversion ratio has improved. And we need it to be at the races today as Jack Harrison puts a long ball in towards the back post to Ryan Adams. Oh my lord. He does well to get a flick and he's calling for a corner. The ref's having none of it there. I will tell you what, that is an unbelievable delivery from Mr Harrison. Absolutely unbelievable. If Ryan had got that on target it would have been unreal. It was very difficult so far. Mayan yeah. Baker have been playing musical shirts. That it, was a, it, like. was a, it was a soft foul, but you can't put your hands in the back of the players these days. In 2019, it's always going to be a foul. But finally, Mayan Baker actually showing a bit of something. Oh my God. Very well, very well done, Jack Harrison. He has just, he's actually prevented a goal there. That was very good from Jack. Yeah, the ball was, was played the, was into the, the box. Right foot. Driven cross forward. Albert Keefe looks to fleet, feed it through towards Richo. Albert oh, no. does well. Found Ryan Adams into space on the right-hand side. Can Ryan take his man on? He's jinking inside and outside. Which way is he going to go? He's got on the outside. Loops oh my God. it in. The wind grabbed it over for a goal kick. Thing. That was the, nice. It was very nice. It was attacking. It was confidence. That's what I like to see of Ryan. He's always his best when he comes on and plays with confidence. He keeps doing that. I'll be back towards Jack, who plays it into the middle. I see Sonny Vasey in the comments saying we started very well, and I couldn't agree more. It's a very positive start. Harry Honesty! Harry Honesty! With the just his man for absolute dead to the back post! Oh, right, let me tell falling. you, that is a key matchup to watch now. Harry Honesty just gave him his right back, 10 yards head start. He burnt past him, put the cross in, the keeper's turned over for a corner kick. Get the ball to Harry on the left. The right back does not, cannot deal with that pace. Ross, a bit of time in the middle here. I think he's going to play it back to Jacko. Oh, it bubbled there. I don't know if you noticed. So Jackie did well to get that up to the halfway line. But Mayan Baker back in the attack. And once again, it's Ricky Evans. Ah, oh, piling on Ricky the Evans, a little bit dispossessed there. Time number 10. Now's the opportunity to feed it to the right midfielder. Looks like the right back on an overlap. Who cuts inside onto his left foot. No, goes back to the right. Outside of the boot. Beautiful ball in towards the back post. Chance for Mayan Baker. No! It's a goal. It's a goal for Mayan Baker. The ball came in. Looping cross. Hashtag failed to clear it. The header was back across Jacko. And there was someone there at the back stick. I'm not sure who it was to turn it in, Theo. What do we make it's of that? It's just completely out of nothing. It won, they just lost the ball in the middle of the park. They put one looping uh, delivery into the box. And maybe the, uh, the wind, and obviously the wind's in their favour, but you, you can't use that as an excuse. They've got the ball back, though. As May and yeah. Baker look to build another attack. They're now probably the side in charge of the game themselves, which is a concerning sight for hashtag fans. The hashtag ultras have got a lot quiet all of a sudden. 
And they've got a chance here, Mayan Baker, on the edge of their box. They feed it over towards the left midfield, number 14. Can he get across in? Ryan Adams tuck it in to do well and does well brilliantly done. well. Absolutely brilliant, right? Now get rid. Ryan well, Adams, oh, fantastic tackle there. That is what I like to see. That is the hashtag heart. He, I, I heard even bleeds blue and yellow, Ryan Adams. That's what I, that's that's what I like to see. Jacko flicks the ball out of his feet and lumps it up the field towards Richo, who once again oh, wins the header. Brilliant. Ross Cleese gets the second ball. Can he unleash Harry Honesty on the left-hand side? He's going to Ricky Evans first. Ricky Evans looks to shape up for a shot. Did ah, he get a deflection? It did. The referee the saw it. It's a, free, it's a corner to hashtag, Theo. But that's all started from a... Uh, Anil Richmond flick on into Ross, who composed it, who's composed. He lays it off to Ricky, gets the shot away, and it's taking the deflection out for a corner. Let's hope we can capitalise on Tom Williams back on corner duties now. Can he hold it up? He can't. He's beaten in the air, and it is now forward for Mayan Baker to make a break. But Captain Jack Harrison intercepts it wide to Harry Honesty. Can he bring it down? Look to turn the afterburners on again. Into Tom he does Williams. a one-two of Tom Williams. Tom Williams, can he get the ball out of his feet and cross it? He can. What a delivery! He's in there in front of the I goalkeeper. Tell you what, we need to gamble, lads. We need to gamble on that. That is in the corridor of uncertainty. He needs to gamble. That's why he just needs someone to just, you know what? Go for it. Get in the box, lad. Run on and any touch is a goal. They have been the better side, if we're honest. The last final very, third of this half. Very frustrating to admit with such a bright start that hashtag had. Really frustrating. And they've got a chance to go through oh, here. Oh. Jacko's come a long way. He's had to backtrack oh, towards no. his goal. There's a man through on goal, oh, but Percy Garner remains composed. For wins right. the ball oh, and, he and plays clears the it out towards up. Ryan Adams. Go Tries Ryan. a bit of a slip. Ryan Adams now on the right-hand side. Running forward, encouraged on, from the fans. Can he beat his man and get a ball in? He goes one way, he goes the other. With ease. Ryan Adams, put the cross what in. Ball Fantastic in. from Ryan it's Adams. Goal on Richmond. Ah! Neil Richmond wins the header and it's high and over the bar. But that was brilliant from Hashtag. That could have been one of the goals of the season. With, with the brilliant defensive work from Farai, Composure plays a whippage ball out to Ryan. Ryan takes about 500 defenders there. Whips it in and Neil, it's just a little bit too high and he puts that over the bar. The hashtag players have to be careful out there at the moment because there have been a couple of decisions that have maybe gone against them with the pushes in the back. They've just got to keep their heads. We can't be giving away fouls like that as like a retaliation sort of thing. We have to keep our heads, stay composed and not react to the decisions, if you know what I mean. Uh, I totally know what you mean. I totally agree with you. As the ball is now taken, a good delivery in from Mayan Baker. Jack oh, Harrison wins that one. Flying header. <gasps> Bit of Jack loses that one. A chance for Mayan Baker. It's bobbling around the penalty spot. Oh, a late free kick. rash challenge. That will be a free kick to hashtag now. And that looked like it was Richo, who's possibly kicked the, someone's foot. No, no, no. no. What trying happened? to clear it, no? What happens? Richo's played the ball out and the, and the Donny's just come in and just swiped his legs out. Getting himself in the book here. He in is, fact, going he in the is book. getting himself yep. in the book. But much more concerning, Neil Richmond is still on the ground. Yeah. And Jack Harrison I, is calling for assistance from Stevie CB. I don't think been it's malicious. It wasn't malicious. It was just a late challenge, I think. Jacko will be looking for a big kick here. The wind has finally dowed died down allowing him to get one further forward and he does great kick from Jacko Ross Glead looks to win it doesn't but Ricky Evans now tries to get possession back for hashtag and they have not done so May and Baker with the ball well up Ryan Adams good one too and they're released over on the left hand <gasps> side no oh, no. Bryce Ngano mopping it up referee's giving a free kick to May and Baker and oh, I'm really not sure about that one and this right here let me tell you is dangerous five is going to strike this with the right foot I believe that's Tom Harvey this is dangerous no men in the wall. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot. Got, he's dragged uh, it along the floor. Maybe it's trying gone to keep for a it down. It's gone he's, for a corner. He's it has someone's foot, is it? Out, it came off Albert's foot. Yes. Indeedy. And, and that there is, it is the halftime whistle. Half You're right there, Theo. One nil down. Unfortunately, it's, as I said earlier on in the first half, it's a shame because we started off so well, and we just had that, ugh, you know, when we concede, and you just got to try and get your heads up, stay level-headed, and go out for the second half. Time for one of Devsy's hopefully ultra inspirational team talks to get the boys back on track. We'll head down to the tunnel now to see how he treats the boys. We've got a problem because now I'm asking you to win a race from a standing start. Because everything we've done is almost like we're glued to the floor. I don't know if the conditions have got into our minds because we're playing into the win first half and all of a sudden we're, we're, we're hesitant, but you started well. 20 minutes of dominating them, the game being played in there, possibly longer, being played in their half of the pitch. And what they did <coughs> is they slowed the game and they slowed it and slowed it and we allowed them to slow the game. That's not us. This is our pitch, this is our ground. We play the game on our terms, not somebody else's. And I've watched centre half stand on the ball, their centre half stand on the ball and be able to manipulate it wherever. And we might get one go and press, but then we're so slow to react. And I look 
and there's acres and we're on the hills. They're allowed to see a ball drop out of the air and the fella taps it in from the floor. But we haven't gone and attacked it, we're letting it drop. And I look at me two midfielders, me engine room, the people that dominate for me week in, week out, and you're all over the place. You're five yards off of everything. And then when you do get on the ball, you're snatching at it. And you, you're getting caught in, in two minds. The left back, you've got the beating of him all day. The right back, you've got the beating of him all day. But you've got to get that out of your mind and start thinking about trying to win a game of football because it's all reactive. Just play the game. Play what's in front of you. If you're trying to do million dollar things instead of just moving it into spaces and going and running them and running them and running them. This failed you so often early on. We know that second half, we're going to get deli- we're going to get set pieces to really go and ask the question. And if we don't, we'll get in. If we don't get set pieces, we'll get in. And then it's about composure. And then it's about a bit of determination. And then it's a little bit of life amongst us. Because I watch it and we kind of stand and we're letting people go and do things in isolation. And there's no one getting close. We're right moaning about things afterwards. But we're not actually demanding things of each other. We're not set. We're nowhere near. Nowhere near our standards. You've got to be bright. You've got to be confident. You've got to be brave. You've got to look to do things quickly but do it with a purpose and, then, and do it with conviction. It's all I ask of you. you. See opportunity, drive at it and go at it. Don't shirk responsibilities. It's unacceptable. And you know it. But only you can change it. Because I can lose my temper and so I'll say it's going to be alright. But you've just wasted 45 minutes of opportunity. The beauty of it is that you're only one down. And if you score one, you win the game. If you get get the next goal, you will win the game. I guarantee you, you'll win the game. But we've got to look like we want to. We've got to be prepared to chase. We've got to be prepared to go and win things. We've got to be prepared to go and get hurt. Draw would be brilliant for them. Absolutely brilliant for them. No good to us whatsoever. We've got to win this game. We've got to go out and win this game. And I need an immediate reaction and an immediate response. Otherwise, there'll be changes, because there'll have to be. Nice. (laughs) No subs have been made yet. Harry Honesty was very effective when he got the ball in the first half. But let's be honest, Theo, he didn't get the ball much, did he? Not as much as he would have definitely liked to. And when he did get it, he puts in crosses. And unfortunately, we didn't have enough people in the box at the time to capitalise on it. So what we need to do second half, get Ryan, get Harry on the ball, and hopefully we can score down the width. Couldn't agree more. That boy's aimed towards the forward line of May and Baker, misses everybody, Jack Harrison, back into the arms of Jacko. Speed and strength, a very, very useful combination for a centre-back, and his partnership with Jack Harrison has been a very important factor in hashtag success thus far this season. Although we have conceded a goal today, but it's only one goal conceded in the last four games thus far. Hashtag will need to keep a clean sheet from here on in this half, as Ryan Adams and Albie look to march up on the edge of the May and Baker box. But May and Baker have won the ball back and look to... Oh, Albie Keith, though, great challenge to win the ball. And he's won a free kick to hashtag Theo. Yeah, yeah. The May and Baker... Oh, a bit of an arty barge going on here. But the May and Baker player did actually very well to get out. He brought the ball out. No match for a Kevin, sir. Tom Williams asking the referee to give him a few more yards. I think the May and Baker player looks a little bit close to him. Tom floats it in towards everybody. Headed up by May and Baker. The right back now looks to clear under pressure from Albie Keith. May and Baker do get it away now. They break into the hashtag half with three on three. And for us in goal, only flicks it through to the number 21. Can he get a shot away? It's a oh. shot, stroke, cross. Ryan Adams will look to do some defending over on the right-hand side for hashtag and does well, and it's a man baker throw, Theo. If there's anyone in the box, it's a goal. We have, they, they just had no shot? striker up, though. No, he's, he's played the ball. Okay, that was a flicked ball through into the hashtag penalty spot. The striker from Mayor Baker got a flick on it with his back to goal and it looped only just wide of Jacko's post. Goal kick hashtag. But Tom will take a couple of steps in towards the feet of Richo. Holds it up well as as only he can do so well. Back towards Ricky Evans. First time cross into the box towards Albie Keith. Cleared on the edge of the box. We've got Simon Petty lining up. Hoops it back in towards. We've got Neil Richo Richmond volleys towards the mark post. Oh my word. I didn't see it get a deflection but the referee's... Pointed out towards a corner, Theo. Oh, interesting. I, that's definitely not a corner, but we, we'll take it at the end of the day. But what a Simon Ped plays it back into Neil Richmond. He, t- he takes a touchdown and volleys it, and it literally whiskers away from that top bins. God, what a goal that would have been. Yep. It's the dream corner position. You can really get some whip on it. Tom Williams whips it in. Perfect delivery. Keeper comes down flat, gets a fist on it. 
Jack Harrison now stays forward, looks to win the ball at the hashtag. He does so over on the left-hand side, holding it up. Can he get a ball into the box? He does. Brilliant play from Jack. Cleared at the front post from the Mayan Baker centre-back. Out towards that flank again. Go on, Ross. Ross Cleed now. Can he get a first time crossing? What he does as well. Much better from hashtag. Edge of the box. We've got Simon Petty lining up. He goes wide right. Tom Williams loops it into the box. Over towards Ross Cleed. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's in it's the it's back of the net. Get hashtag in. United. Oh I'm not sure if it's an own goal or not. Theo, we're back in it. The ball gets played over the top. Ross just has a little. He just swings his leg at it. It's not, it's not even going on target. It's an own goal. Oh, oh, oh Rossi. What do we see there, Theo? He, he just puts his heart on the, on the sleeve, you know what I mean? He just goes into everything. He gives 120% in everything he does, and he's back on the ball now. He plays it in with a one-two of Albie Keith on his left foot. Can he have a shot? Ross Glee, the spirit oh. animal of Spencer himself. He's got confidence. Hang on a minute. Is that wide right? He's got confidence indeed now. This looks like a, a really a team that's been lifted by that goal, and it's so important to get that goal early on. Something's happened. I don't know what's happened. Wait, the referee is calling someone over. Oh, oh wait, there's a man the down. Ryan, Ryan Adams, I believe, is down in the far With corner a head of the pitch. We didn't even notice it. That's how... And you can see the hashtag players were just swarming the referee, saying, how have you not noticed Ryan Adams is down? He's been down for about a minute. I must be honest, I didn't see it myself. Steve ECB is the first man on the scene there. And the super fans, the hashtag ultras, are back. Their voice went a bit in the end of that second half. But a goal does wonders for players and fans alike. And their voice is well heard and well needed here. Over towards Harry, honestly. Oh, Fantastic first touch. touch from Harry. Burst is through. And Surely a, that's, that's going to be a free behind. kick. And we could see a card here. Thankfully, Harry, honestly, is not hurt. The referee's calling a man over from Mayan Baker. I think he's got to dish out a yellow card here. Surely it was malice ball. Harry was, was like making real grounds there towards the goal. Over the Christmas period. And now they're going to be without Luke Dickens, one of the most capped players as well as he picks up his fifth yellow card of the season. Tom Williams loops it in towards the back stick. Ryan Adams is there. He's flicked away only as far as the corner with Ashtag United. That left foot wand. It's another great whip cross in. Asks all sorts of questions. May and Baker have only been able to clear as far as the left-hand side. But I tell you what, their number 19 done very, very well there. Craig Hale has done brilliantly to win it back there. And Ross Glee, can he keep it in for Hashtag he has? Oh, He's I love Jack him. Jack Harrison, who uses the right foot to try and play through Richo. Jack Harrison is a very two-footed player and it will be a hashtag United throw which Ross Gleed will take quickly. Richo back to Ross Gleed. Can he get the ball into the box? He does. High looping cross towards Ryan Adams at the back post. Oh. Just flicked away from him but Mayan Baker defence oh. and they now look to break with a lot of pace from their number 16 with the white boots. Got pace for burn I think. But closed down by Simon Peds. Wow. And Ryan's played the ball into Oh, unlucky lads. I'm sure he can master it and he can get us a goal. Tom Williams has put in two absolutely sensational deliveries in the last two corners over on the right-hand side. He'll look in for another one here. Hashtag doing the lining up tactic where they all bunch together on the edge of the box, ahead of it coming in. It does come in. Another good delivery from Tom Williams. Yes, oh, it's no. in the back of the it's net! It's Captain Jack that, Harrison! Was that Ricky or Jack? Was that Ricky or who Jack? gets his eighth goal of the season! And he is now... An absolute fox in the box from centre-back. Hashtag United have looked dangerous in those corners all game long. Another great ball in from Willow. And a captain Jack puts it away, Theo. I'll tell you what, that's the, that's the third whippage corner he's put in. The first two a little bit close to the keeper, but my word did he get this one right. Jack Harrison got two goals last week away to Wivenhoe Town. He's got one today. He scores goals from centre-back. I've been playing football with Jack since we were 12 years old. He's played up front. He's played left wing, centre-mid, centre-back. He gets goals from everywhere. And what, what a player he's been for us this year. And he's got us back in this game. As look, Harry Oris is now way down the left-hand side. Come on. Can actually get a mid-range compiler on. here. Harry Oris beat his man again into the box. He's Go still on. got it. Oh, he just Go ran on. out of pace slightly. Oh. And he, May and Baker finally managed to get themselves with the ball here. And this is what we needed. Another massive game here again on Tuesday night. Oh, as Jacko comes to clear and does so very well for Hashtag. Tuesday night, quarter final of the cup. Massive game for Hashtag United, but we've still got this one to play right now. May and Baker with the ball on the edge of the box. Tried to play through the number 21. For Isingano, brilliantly shepherds it out. Would have been for a goal kick. It does win the foul. It's a free kick to Hashtag United. Ryan Adams coming off for Lee Hurst now. I think we might see Albie Keith. Go wide right, and that will mean Lee Hurst sits in behind, possibly slightly more withdrawn from the position Albie was playing. Ryan's taken quite a few knocks today, and not only that, he's run his absolute socks off, as he always does. Ten minutes left now, about nine on the clock, as Hashtag are closing in on a very important victory. 
Mayan Baker with seven games in hand. This will really hurt them. But the ball's not cleared properly. It's with number nine, Mayan Baker. Looks to get a shot away. For Icing Garner, who was dispossessed, wins it back. But it's now with Mayan Baker once more on the left-hand side. Cross in. Simon Petty clears it and a chance to break. Elby Keith's got room in front of him. Now entering the Mayan Baker half. Be patient, Elby. Who can you Put find? inside. Takes a little step over. Plays it. Go on, Lee. And, oh, Lee Hurst, it looks to make an immediate impact. The ball was a little bit ahead of him. All with hashtag as Captain Jack comes to get it and he's got right underneath that one. High up and into the floodlit air above Coles Park Stadium. Ricky Evans plays it wide. Now is Albie Keith, who's been deployed out right since the change. Beats his man, enters the penalty spot. What can you do, Albie? Takes no. a shot where maybe he could have laid it back to Lee Hurston. Oh, Lee was on the edge of the box there waiting. He was ready to pounce like a panther. It's gone past and bounced forward into the goalkeeper, George Martin's arms. And now we're going to see, I think, a quickening of the pace. Three on, minutes Evans. left. But Ricky Evans has got it back. Take your time, Ricky. Find the pass. Keep the ball. Ross Gleed plays it back to Ricky Evans. Can man he go on, wide to on. Albie? He goes right to Simon Petty. Hashtag now. Looking composed. Not in a hurry. But still with the ball. Deep inside the main baker half. Petty to Albie Keith. To the byline. Can he get his cross in? Cuts into his left-hand side. Oh, Beats one man. Has a shot saved again he by past, George Martin. He went past the defender with such ease just then. Harry Honesty now, the ball's been switched over by Petty. Harry Honesty looks to beat his man. Jinkin once again beats him, finds the byline, puts the cross into the back. It's oh! a goal! It's Albi! It's, it's Albi! It's Albi! And it's all Harry! Gets his second headed goal in two games. And he's looked much more effective on the right hand side. And I'll tell you about effectiveness. Harry Honesty once again, like he's done almost all day, beats his man. Big looping cross towards the back post, and Albert Keith was there to surely put the game beyond Mayan Baker. Hashtag free, Mayan Baker won. Um, I'm just going to put it out there. There's 11 players on each team on each pitch. Very well counted. And that is the final whistle. Massive win for Hashtag United as the final whistle goes. They've come from behind. A tragedy that happened to us at this very ground a few weeks ago to find our first home defeat. We took the lead and we ended up losing 3-1. Well, today we went behind and we've won 3-1. Theo Baker, how was that for you? That was unbelievable. And for, and for man of the match, I think there was four standout players. You've got Farai, Harry, Alvi and Ross Glead. But for me, there was one player in the middle of Hark who just shined bright like a diamond and that was Ross Glead, man of the match for me. Ross Glead with another man of the match performance. He's been an absolute revelation since he came into that centre midfield position, he struck the ball so purely that led for the hashtag goal, deflected in, and that was a real big turning point for the game. The boys are now shaking hands. It's a massive victory for Hashtag United. Come from behind win. Let's see what Devs have got to say down in the changing rooms. <laughs> Boys, 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 Alice has got some real good news apparently. I won the tech ball! Yeah! Perseverance, second half. Once we got back in, there was only once we got that goal, early goal, it felt like there was only going to be one winner and we then managed it really well. As you get close to the end of the season and there's something to play for, the opposition get bigger regardless, regardless of their, their position or where they are because it all becomes about what we do and ourselves. And we weren't quite at our standards first half. Second half, we weren't great. Listen, listen there wasn't, uh, we, we've been far, far better this season, right? but we did enough. It's a big result. But it's not as big a result as it would have been if we had lost or drawn. So let's keep ourselves level-headed. No, such a long way, such, such a long way from anything being done. We move on to Tuesday, it's a different competition. But we've got to recover right and be ready to go again Tuesday. It's not, it's not we forget about it because it's not a league game. Because right? it's about momentum as much as anything. But you've re responded really, really well today. That's really pleasing. When you're not at it, you find a way. You stay in the game, you find a way to win. Well done. Well, I'm joined by Jack Harrison, Albert Keith and Ricky Evans because he just really wanted to get involved. Jack, you were 1-0 down at half-time. What happened? Yeah. Uh, I had a bit of a stinker with a goal. That's what happened. So, obviously, second half, I had to come out and sort of resurrect things. And that's why Rick's here because he thinks I nicked the header off of him. So, he's coming to, you know, in protest, he wants the second goal. But I'm not Rick, is it true Jack nicked the header off you? I can't believe it because he had done it to him last week. He's done it back to me this week. Joke. 
Good to see a goal for you, Albie. How's it feel? Ah, oh, buzzing, buzzing again. And uh, I love me chant. A wee goof, goof, goof. A wee goof, goof, goof. Quality stuff, boys. Thank you. Okay, and that is going to be a wrap, guys. Daniel Aji. That was mad. Come back from 1 0 down. Battled hard. Got the result, the three points. Hashtag, we keep going. Come on, boys. That's what we do, boys and girls. And obviously, but next Saturday, we will not be having a league game. However, we have a cup game against Benfley on Tuesday. We want to see you at our home ground for that. You can find everything you need down in the links in the description. Keep updated with our socials. And if you haven't subscribed to our esports channel, go check it out. You gotta check it out, guys. Go check it out. Big stuff. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell. And as always, don't forget to hashtag it. <laughs> he always runs away. <laughs>